My name is Anthony Brass, and I'm an outsider artist. We're here today in Michigan in my home studio. And this is where I create all my artwork with my plants and my cats. Ever since I can remember, I've always been drawn to create. When I was younger, my mom has this story. She tells me that I would take crayons and I drew on her walls. She gave me those reams of computer paper, the ones that were all connected. And I remember vividly stretching them out and drawing endlessly until I ran out of creative juices. And these scenes I would create would be always connected from start to finish. My first experience painting was senior year in high school where my class took a trip to the Detroit Institute of Arts. And there we were able to paint and I instantly fell in love with the medium. And to this day, I create or paint something virtually every single day. Vibrant colors have always kind of pulled me in. As a child, I have this memory of holding my favorite Crayola crayon, and it was called Hot Pink. And I just remember staring at it and just thinking to myself how beautiful that color was. To this day, I still use that fluorescent pink color in most of all my paintings. I have a lot of plants in my house, in my studio, and I like to walk around and watch them grow. I find that they're very inspirational for me, and I think it's a good way to bring the forest and nature into your space. And maybe that's what my artwork's about, is getting closer to nature and bringing, bringing it into your home. As a child, I always struggled with reading and writing, and it was extremely hard for me to keep a train of thought and focus. And it was to a point where I actually, part of the day in elementary school, I had to go into special classes. And I feel like that really weighed down on me and kind of hurt my confidence, especially in my younger years. But I feel like art and music kind of like helped me find that calm, focused energy. And it still does today. And it helped me build my confidence. And it's always been like a source of confidence in my life. My mind works a little bit different than most in today's society. And I have to, I had to learn how to motivate myself and organize myself to get the most out of life. And I feel like that's something we all continuously work on is trying to develop ourselves. But I feel like throughout my life, from now into the future, that art is always gonna be a foundational rock that I can count on and build off of. I constantly get weird ideas and, and thoughts in my head throughout the day. And what I like to do is take note of those so I don't forget. Because I feel like those spontaneous thoughts that are kind of gifted into my head are the most genuine and the most um, unique and, and exciting ideas to create. So then I like to keep track of things and lists, and I keep list of all these ideas that pop in my head throughout the week and I'll leave these lists in my studio in my office and in my phone and when I'm ready to paint I'll sit down and go over that list and I'll try to find what excites me the most so whatever idea I wrote down that's most exciting to me I'll take that and I'll start painting and I do that because I want to carry that excitement throughout the entire process of painting that piece, and that way I can bring the most life into my artwork. So I use acrylic paint and I paint on wood. And the reason why I use wood is to really like that smooth surface and it's really solid other than canvas, where canvas will kind of fight against your brush and, and work against you. I always felt like I was battling the terrain of the canvas. 
So I like to work on just one painting at a time. And the reason why I like to do this is because I look at it as a race against time where the longer I'm working on something, sometimes that excitement and enthusiasm will run out or get low. And I don't want that to be reflected in the painting. So I like to work fast and I like to work on one piece at a time. Yeah. So I feel like every artist goes through periods of creative blocks and I do as well. And the way I combat those creative dry spills is I will just walk away and find something else productively that I have to do. This way it kind of calms my mind. It relieves some pressure and stress I'm putting on myself for not getting things done and being productive. And oftentimes I'll find that I'll get those creative ideas flowing back into me when I step away for a period of time. And when that does happen, I like to get back in the studio as quick as possible so I can ride that creative wave and go with that energy and make some lively art. I think being grateful for life and having a fear of not making the most out of it is what really drives me. I'm really grateful for having a roof, having food, having health and great people in my life. Really grateful for having eyes to see and hands to create. My aim with my artwork is to share the beauty I see in the world. It brings me happiness. It's uplifting. And that's for a reason. I want people to be happy and joyful and happy with their lives and see the beauty I see. I think everyone should find a passion in their life, whether it be creative or just something that brings them fulfillment. And even if you feel like you don't have time to do that in your day-to-day -day life, there's always a way to find even just a little bit of time every day to do something you're truly and genuinely passionate about. I feel like if you don't have a passionate, creative, or whatever sort of outlet that fills that spot, you're gonna lose your sanity and break in one way or another. I feel like it's very important to have an open mind in life and not judge others. And even if someone's having a bad day or being rude to you, I feel like you could change that because you don't know what kind of situation they're going through or what just happened to them. So I think it's important to show kindness and morality towards everybody, even if they're not kind to you, because who knows if, if you show kindness to them, you might change their day and they may stop being mean to you or stop being mean to someone else, or it may open their mind up. And I think the world needs more of that.